oh if you see this message uh it usually means that uh, your license expired and now you need to, your trial expired and now you need to get a full license so uh, these are all available packages so tell ten dollar per month desktop only um, license allows you to use on desktops um, and if you want to share and collaborate with bigger group you would need to go for the uh, $40 per month which is 10 active users and you have other numbers 30 100 and unlimited unlimited is more suitable for those who are going to publish it publicly and you don't know how, how many users will be um, using this solution so as soon as you reach the um, the threshold we what we do during the month what we do we uh, limit the solution um and uh, but initially we notify that uh, you're reaching the, li the limit uh license limit let's go to the next step which is about configuring the solution so as soon as you complete uh, these steps you will get uh, email with um, a production key uh, that key uh, is fully functioning and in that email you will also receive the instructions how to configure the google api key which is quite important for this bit in the configuration gui guide um, you would see that uh, there are uh, several steps um, which you need to perform to enable google maps api but these are quite simple so let's go to the uh, initial step step eight uh, in the guide which uh, so basically what you need to go away and go is to open this uh, link console google cloud.com and over there you would be entering uh, enabling uh, google maps apis so let me show it to you how it's done so let's move on yeah so over here uh, you need to go to the API and services and after you select API and services you need to select the the needed APIs most important one is uh, maps JavaScript API and the next one is places API if you're going to use the Google places um, don't worry about the pricing of Google Maps API and uh, because Google provides uh, about $200 on monthly user uh, usage credit so basically uh, uh, whatever you do with this request sending request receiving request uh, in like 95% of our customers are way below this threshold so you will not pay anything extra to Google uh, unless you have really huge data and in that case you would need to go and uh, check the calculator but uh, that would be mostly around if you're dealing with um, I don't know hundreds of users every month and um, the database is big so you need to decide but since each case is quite individual um, sometimes you would need to verify this moment uh, use chat uh, you can consult with us uh, use Google Calculator and you can understand you can have an estimated cost of uh, ownership for this uh, usage but as I said 95% of our customers never cross this $200 they are way below okay so moving on um, after the, you have enabled all of this JavaScript and places API you have the next step is to enable uh, getting API key which is will, will be unique to your organization to your user uh, this key will be needed to, uh, later to configure Google Maps uh, inside Power BI um, quite how say important thing is that you need to add any billing card uh, on this profile uh, on Google Cloud again it could be any type it could be a new profile it could be an existing one but it's important that you need to have at least a credit card on uh, Google Cloud it will not be charged straight away um, unless you cross $200 credit so again 95% never cross it so you'll be fine uh, but uh, the the card is needed otherwise um, the the map will be grayed out and the, the, it will be 
uh, the, you'll see the warning development only so it's not uh, that useful to you okay so as soon as you get in this um, key uh, we we're going to copy it and paste it in our power bi visual so we need to go to the here formatting and add the key right here uh, by the way in email uh, which you receive after you select the, the, the correct package you'll get a production key and instruction how to get this google maps key and um, after you configure it just paste your key here if anything comes up you don't know what's not uh, something is not working just go to support use the this web chat and somebody will be able to tell you what's going on with your license um, various um, issues could appear but uh, most likely like again nearly a hundred percent is related to um, missing API and not correctly selected or you uh, you haven't added the credit card to the Google Maps um, account uh, which they really want if you want to see all the um, configuration guides they they are located inside app source and if you scroll down uh, if you select google maps for power bi you would see these three this one provides more steps more detail this one just briefly shows you what to do um, but again they try to cover as much as possible within different um, uh, number of pages so pro version is more about what you can do with the solution Hopefully this will be helpful. Again, if anything comes up, just use the web chat, use emails, and um, yeah, that's the quickest way to reach out. Thank you very much. Have, have a nice day.